Let's hear from Justin Balassi on feet. Ladies and gentlemen, how was that opening number? Was that wonderful or what? Let me hear it for you. Justin Christen, Christmas Balassi on uh, tap dancing, Taylor Hope, violin. We had Lisa Bouchelle singing for you. Lisa's got a new album out, uh, Blue Room with a Red Vase, so pick that up. You know, over the years, that opening number has kind of let you know like what this show's been all about. We've had bottle dancers, from, uh, and we've had Freddie Schneider from the B-52s for the uh, you know, Jewish Persuasion. We've sung a lot of Christian carols and Christmas songs over the year, but you know what? The atheists don't have a song. <laughs> Until now. Steve Martin wrote a song, and we're gonna do it for you. Is everyone ready? Christians have their hymns and pages, hymns and pages. Have an appeal for the Jews. Baptists have the rock of ages. ABS just sing the blues. ABS just sing the blues. Have you guys been drinking? Romantic play, Claire de Lune, born again, he is risen, he is risen, but no one ever, no one ever wrote a tune, wrote a tune for godless existentialism. <laughs> For atheists, there's no good news. They'll never sing a song of faith. In their song, they have a rule the he is always lowercase. The he is always lowercase. Take it easy, Sopranos. <laughs> Some folks say a bacchantata. Bacchantata. The Lurin's gay. Christmas trees, Christmas trees. Atheist songs add up to nada, but they do have Sundays free. <laughs> but they do have Sundays free. <laughs> Catholics dress up for mass and listen to Gregorian chants. Atheists just take a pass and watch football in their underpants. Watch football in their underpants. Let's pick it up. Pentecost, listen to heaven. Coptics have a book of scrolls. When the wall just can count to seven. If the yes have rock and roll. Hey, see.